Hi everyone, this is Carla. I am back with a special request by Kimberly's Cocoon. She saw my recent um, video about uh, a book haul I had done and I had found this particular book and she was interested in seeing more about it and I just thought I would go through it. Again, the title is called After the Holocaust by Howard Greenfeld. Um, it's just a very nice book. It looks like a photo strips on the front and very interesting. Uh, it's published by Scholastic Inc. My uh, couple of the pages are wanting to start coming out. But um, I'll just kind of briefly go through it and show you the table of contents. It shows pictures of the children that will be talked about in this book. Um, it has maps, a preface. It talks about the liberation. After the liberation, the search the DP camps, which stands for Displaced Persons Camps, and the survivors with an afterword that will tell about uh, where they ended up and how their lives, uh, the course their lives took. So these are the children. Sivia Bosch, she was from Romania in 1928. Judith Bahali, born in Budapest in 1934. Tanya Blair, born in Lotz, Poland in 1925. Akiva Kohani, born in Katowice, Poland in 1929. Larry Rosenbach, from Lizhask, Poland, 1929. George Schwab, from Lapaya, Latvia in 1931. Anne Goldman Shore, from Zabno, Poland in 1929. And Alicia Faustine Weinsberg, born in Warsaw, Poland, 1929. This talks about and shows on, uh, by a map form Europe after World War II. Um, in red, I guess, are uh, it shows the American zones, French zones, British zones. Um, and then area uh, of the map on the, the left page. So these zones cover Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Austria, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Romania, Italy, Belgium, Holland, Switzerland, Denmark, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, and parts of the USSR. Uh, here's the preface. Uh, some of these pictures uh, have the printing against a um, shadowy image in the background of concentration camps, which adds to the story. There's some haunting pictures in here like this of young survivors behind a barbed wire fence in Buchenwald concentration camp, April 11th, 1945. You can see the effects of malnutrition and disease on them. Um, these are other pictures of the little children that was mentioned in the beginning of this video. Um, pictures of them prior to their uh, incarceration or their families' incarcerations in the concentration camps and uh, shows them as young children. It also gives some of the details in these pictures of who in the photos uh, were later deported and murdered. Uh, again, some more young children photos. And this photo uh, uh, annotates that all but two out of this photo were murdered in Belzac. Um, this is a cute picture of Alicia and her cousin at a summer house in Warsaw, Poland in 1938. Photo of happier times. And the same girl, Alicia and her false papers in 1944 that got her out of the country. It talks about the ghettos. And this was the girl that had the false documents to get her out. Pardon my fingers in these photos here. Or the pages, rather. They don't want to turn for me for some reason. 
uh, wedding picture of um, Judith and her twin brother and they were at their cousin uh, Magda's wedding but it said the bride and groom both perished in the Holocaust. Saying goodbye to a cousin who's leaving for America, George, one of the children in the front of the book, is the little boy in the middle, 1936. The wreck of the Cap Arcona. It was destroyed by uh, British Typhoon fighters in 1945 off of Neustad, Holstein, Germany. This is um, some of the family members of the child Larry. This was his grandfather and his grandmother from the 1800s. This was Larry's picture at Hebrew school. And this is with his mother and brother on vacation in Poland in 1937. And on another vacation with his father and uncle in 1938. And this was Larry after he was liberated. And you see him in the um, concentration camp clothing there, 1945. This was female prisoner uh, forced labor gang digging trenches at Ravensbrück concentration camp, 1940 to 41. The German slave masters were no respecters of persons, were they? This is a picture of Tanya's, another of the children, her mother and her father on their wedding day uh, in Poland. And this is a picture of Tanya with her family and some cousins. And it says, everyone in the photo perished except for the two Tanyas. There were two Tanyas here in this photograph. The crematorium at Mauthausen. This picture was taken by a friend who later went on to fight in Japan, 1945. Uh, Akiva Kohani was one of the little boys and this is his mother. This is Akiva and his family at a summer mountain resort in 1937. What a smiling bunch of people, so happy. After the Liberation, The Search. Post-war demonstration of Polish Jews against fascism, 1945. And a German woman views a bombed out storefront in Munich one year after the end of the war, April to May, 1946. And all through this book, it tells of each child's memory of those particular times that they're discussing. Um, Polish-Jewish displaced persons arrive at the American zone of Berlin after being smuggled over the border from the Russian sector, January 1946. And they've even got a little baby buggy there. Hmm. And this whole section is about the displaced persons camps and what they went through there. This is uh, Jewish displaced persons eating in the main dining hall at the Landsberg displaced persons camp, December 6th, 1945. Uh, this talks about immigration to Palestine. German women are forced to evacuate their homes to make room for Jewish displaced persons in Landsberg, Germany, January 1st, 1946. So the tide had turned there. This was the little girl in the front of the book, Anne Shore. This is the first photo taken of Anne after a time in hiding in Berlin, Germany, 1946. 
and at the displaced persons camp in Firth, Germany, 1946. Polish, Jewish, and other refugees protest together to improve the living conditions at the displaced persons camp. Anne is pictured in the front center, May 1946. Anne, her sister Ray, and her mother at the displaced persons camp, 1947. And Anne dressed as Charlie Chaplin at a displaced person camp prom party in Firth, Germany in 1947. A view of the Landsberg Displaced Persons Camp, 1945 to 1948, and the Landsberg Hospital Staff, 1946 to 1947. Tanya, the first row center with friends from Landsberg on vacation in 1946-1947. George, shortly after liberation, the late summer of 1945. George with his friends, 1945. Jewish youth studying Hebrew and geography of Palestine at the Displaced Persons Center for Children in Germany, 1945. George's chauffeur stands as his friend sits at the wheel of a car, 1946. On the way to America, George is in the front wearing a cap behind him are some family friends and his mother and sister, 1947. Alicia in Munich, Germany, 1946. Alicia's family home at the Displaced Persons Camp, Fahrenwald, Germany. Her family lived in the first unit to the right of the truck. So right there. Open the Gates to Palestine, a Hebrew high school protest in Munich, Germany in 1946. A displaced person camp wedding, Alicia is at the right of the bride in 1946. Alicia is waiting to leave for America in Bremen, Germany, 1948. And Alicia, her parents and sister, waiting to board the ship in Bremen, March 1948. Sivia in a borrowed coat, Klug, Romania, 1945. Jewish children from the Bad Reichenhall Displaced Persons Camp danced during their summer camp, Germany, 1947. I think it's amazing they had the spirit to dance and have fun again after all that they had lost. Jewish displaced persons living in wooden barracks in a camp in the Bavarian Alps, 1948. And to show the goodness of God and, and the openness of people's hearts even after such tragedies. Look at these little babies that were born. Little toddlers. And a new hope for these families. Larry uh, and friends with the U.S. Army in Frankfurt, Germany in 1945. I always thought it was wonderful how American servicemen um, were so friendly to everyone and, and uh, tried to be so kind to the people that they, they liberated. Larry in Frankfurt, Germany, 1945. And on the way to Palestine, Larry is in the center of the photo with someone's hands on his shoulders right there. This was Frankfurt, Germany, 1946. On a ship to Palestine, Larry, age 17, is wearing a cap in the front uh, row, second from the left, leaving Marseille, France, in 1946. Judith is at a Zionist home in Budapest, Hungary, 1946. I think she looks a lot like Anne Frank right there in the, in the photos I've seen of Anne Frank. Judith and her brother, Andrew, dressed for the border crossing from Hungary to Austria, Budapest, Hungary, December 1946. Young displaced persons pose on the hillside 
with Castel Gandolfo in the background. They are waiting to move to the Displaced Persons Camp at Barry, Italy, June to August 1948. And I think Castel Gandolfo is the uh, retreat that the Pope goes to. Judith, foreground in an outing with Hebrew youth at the Dan region of Israel in 1948. The first photograph taken of Akiva after liberation in Florence, Italy, 1945. Just looks like a regular teenage kid, huh? This one talks about the United States immigration policy at that time. A short time after liberation, these are Akiva's friends with American GIs. Akiva is not in the photograph, however. This was taken in Wells, Austria in 1945. See, again, American servicemen in the background. Akiva in the center at a displaced persons camp near Milan, preparing to go to Palestine in 1946. Akiva's group of liberated children at the morning flag raising in Italy in 1945. Jewish displaced persons are pitching tents on a pier in La Spezia Harbor where they are also holding a hunger strike to protest Britain's refusal to let them sail to Palestine in April to May 1946. Jewish displaced persons camp out on a port, another photo, waiting permission from the British to sail to Palestine 1946. And this, this is a beautiful background picture, and it shows these uh, women survivors. And this is the story of them in the afterward section. And it goes through each one saying uh, how that their life turned out and continued on, where they ended up settling. Alicia Weinsberg, Sylvia Bosch, George Schwab, Judith Bahali, Larry Rosenbach, Akiva Kohani, Tonya Blair, and Shore, and it just um, many of them went on. Well, they all did went on and had wonderful and successful lives in different places. Some in Canada, some in the United States, some in South America. Most in um, ended up eventually either in the United States or settling in Palestine, which later became the state of Israel. So this was a very interesting book. I haven't read it all yet. But just going through the pictures, I love seeing the photographs of people and uh, then getting to hear what their life, um, how their life led them to uh, the point they are at now. And to just see that um, the graciousness of God and the protection that he um, had in each of their individual lives. He's not just a God that cares about um, people in a general way but in a very, very specific way. And this was a wonderful book, and I just wanted to uh, recommend it to uh, Kimberly's Cocoon and thank her so much for watching and for commenting on my little video. And I hope this um, piqued your interest and that you can find this book out there, After the Holocaust, by Howard Greenfeld. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.